disaster management of it, the rescue efforts. Yeah. How would you grade it? Could we have done better? We would have done better, but we, we ought not to blame a lot on the, on the disaster management because, uh, you see, the only way you'd have uh, done rescue is using helicopters. But you see at the elephant tip of the Badeas, it's very hard even to go with the helicopters because the helicopter, the rot of the helicopter can never scoop air up there at the Badeas. And that's the reason why even this aircraft lost control because the propeller in front of the engine, well, I believe it had a lot of difficulties to scoop air. Mm. And therefore, uh, we need to improve on the disaster management, I agree. But at the end of the day, when you look at this situation, it was very, very tricky for even an helicopter to go, even a military one. Mm. And that's why they are saying here that it's a Kenya Airways passenger plane that spotted the wreckage. Mm. When it's, uh, I think, 35,000 feet above sea level. Mm. And therefore, what I would say uh, here is that we need to look at the type of aircrafts we are using to fly. Like this caravan C-208, it's not advisable to use it when you are going for long distance and also when you are going to pass uh, over very big mountains because at the end of the day it has a single engine so if it fails you have no option that's it yes but you see if you if you use like a dash 8 which has two engines then if one fails you are able to use the other one mm -hmm. and then again if the engine is PT12 Pratt and Whitney designed in in, in Canada but at the, at the at the at the tail at the north end it has a propeller that propeller is the one that scoops the air, the slipstream behind so that the aircraft moves forward. And therefore, if it's up there and the propeller develops a, a kind of a problem, then it leaves a lot of uh, problems to the, to the pilot and even to the crew. All right, Michael? Yeah.